adventures endeavors maybe a little bit of fails and yeah a wee bit of life too so this weekend has been rather busy i went down to newcastle because the sunday july sultan was on so i got to meet regulars and a couple of new ones hello fibro so so it's I'm really bad for names when I meet people. Um, it was lovely to meet you, and I completely forgot to so come and chat to you. But nevertheless, hopefully next time. So yes, um, it was really nice. Um, I stayed at the same place as the last time. We were really comfortable beds, and there's a restaurant stroke bar area. Um, in the same building. Um, that's really nice as well. I had the same things last time. Was that as good? I don't know. I don't think so. Last time I was like salivating it for two months. And it just... I don't know. <laughs> if it was as good as last time. Definitely the onion rings were banging. But yeah. Anyway, vlog. I went for a walk around the Lady of the North when um, 
the rain, the other break in between the rain because it was coming fast. Then it came and then it stopped and then I ran, but walked quickly round the Lady of the North taking lots of vloggy little videos, captions and things like that. So I got back to the car just as the heavens opened again. Yeah, so, and then I got back to the hotel um, because it's literally beside this Lady of the North. Um, and yeah, had a shower and I was meeting Tamlin for dinner there as well. So we met up after the England game. Didn't watch that. Football doesn't really excite me <laughs> that much. Um, if there's a game on, I usually come up to the zone room and I'm in my zone until that finishes or I'm editing a video. Um, yes. So, yeah, we had dinner. I had nearly a whole bottle of wine because I had three large glasses of red wine. My head is still a wee bit woozy today, but I hope it's Sunday when I'm recording this. Um, this will probably come out on the Tuesday because I like to leave it a couple of days between videos so they get out there <laughs> and yeah the most recent video was with the northern soul girls yes i teased about this on instagram and that's probably went over to facebook as well because automatically it does that i set it up so it's nice and easy yeah so yeah so we are doing a collab on the thea's trousers and they that is a pattern by Tilly and the Button. It's size inclusive. Um, and if you want to find out more, I will put the links in the description box below. And um, yeah, you can go and check my video and their video out. I'm super excited about this. A little bit nervous. And uh, yeah. It was a lovely weekend, regardless of me feeling a wee bit tired. The drive down was nice and the drive up was nice. I think I've got my toilet spot sorted. Because <laughs> sometimes you just can't even make it all the way there and all the way back without just stopping emptying your bladder. Sorry if this is too much information, but sometimes you just got to go. And that's my bladder. It can hold, especially if I'm keeping hydrated while I'm driving. Soft drinks only, because that's the law. So, I've got a wee bit of a haul and I bought a couple of things a couple of months ago after the last Zultoon, but Tamlin held on to them, so that saves me from some postage and packaging. So, let's do the haul that I got yesterday. So, I'll start off with the bowing stuff. This is a waistband interface and it's got a nice sturdiness. So, I'm going to give this a try. Um, yeah, I'll talk about a make that I'm almost finished, which I did today at Sultan. I'm quite, quite happy about that. It's like a tick off my list. Um, onto the labels, like I need any more labels, but I keep buying them. This is um, cut, sew, press, repeat, and the Sarah Hearts because first for fabric. Um, we we'll stock that. Then um, this gorgeous prim waistband elastic. I mean, you can't even see. The lines of that compared to other elastic it feels it feels really strong. Um, did I snag that by my nail? Anyway, so I'm going to put this in my make today because I've only got the elastic to go in, sew up the side seams where the elastic goes, and do the hem of 
the bottoms of the pants and then they should be finished and I can show them off but I'll show them in a moment um yes so zippers so I got rainbow zip and four lightning um zip pulls oh, that the, there's a theme going on <laughs> and then It's important to get one of these now and again because they can stretch out. So yeah, definitely measure your one centimetre against a ruler that doesn't stretch because um, they do stretch out eventually. So I got one just to keep myself right and go through the other one. Right, I've got loads of soap. Rainbow Findings um, for a bag that I really want to make. Um, so zip pulls. I won't use all of the same zip pulls on the same bag, but you know, onto the fabric. <laughs> Let's go. Oranges, and it's a lovely cotton jersey. Um, I think I'm going to make a, definitely a top. Um, it's not too see-through, um, but it's got lovely oranges on it, and I think I'm going to make a iris tea by Rent, by forgetting me no patterns, I think. I'm not 100%, however, there's other teas, if I don't settle on that, or I could make the... Oh, it's Tammy Handmade Tea, that can, the, mm, begins with the N, it'll come, if not, I'll um, pop it on the screen. I got some ribbing, and this is to go with a couple of sweatshirts, one for me and one for hubby. Um, because there's some green in there and it's grey as well. I just thought that, oh, that would be really good rather than get a mild grey or a green that doesn't really go. So I just thought that would be good. I got another, it was definitely the jersey days yesterday. Um, and I got this jersey. Is it a pleak? Pleak, I think. Um, kind of like a broader and glazy, but it's got cut out on jersey and I'm thinking maybe either a top or a cardigan I think that would look really nice they had it in different colours as well navy and a bright mustard Um, yeah so now this was a wee while ago um, I saw that Tamla had made the iris tea um, by forget not patterns and she made it from the bamboo jersey I think so can we just try it out myself it feels like liquid is weird so fluid so I think yeah I'm looking forward to giving that a try I think I got a meter and a half of this color lilac um, I might do the short version in this or the long version, I'm not quite sure but I just love the detail on the sleeve of the iris and I got this beautiful blue and people are going to be screaming you soup blue and I do and I know that because it brings out the blue in my eyes <laughs> um, other thing that I got, this haul, Bill, <laughs> the Marcel address chalk and notch patterns, and that is suitable for beginners. Um, and that's your line drawings. So this goes from 0 to 30 US, and the hips go from a 35 inch hip to a 59 inch hip so it is size inclusive 
and there's lots of positive ease in that so yeah um there was a remnant of lots of remnants of webbing but i saw that there was a three meter length of webbing so yeah so instead of 750 it was 650 and that will go with all my rainbow findings <laughs> um yeah I feel like I'm missing something here. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh! <clears throat> Continuing on with the rainbow lightning bolt theme is this. This is going to be lining for a bag. I think I'm going to do a rucksack, one of the noodle head ones. <clears throat> purely because I've got a remnant of what I'm making it so tuned today um, in the bright pink so I'm going to use that as the outer and this is going to be the inner this is cotton poplin if I remember correctly and it feels quite vava voom structures that's a weird way of describing fabric vava voom structured but I did have a remnant of this um, and that's going to pair oh, why did I chuck it on the floor um, that's going to pair really well like really well <laughs> really well with the lightning bolts but I've been sewing up the Pietro pants by Closet Club Pattern and let's get this right Usually we just take a picture up on the screen, but that's it there. This, I'm using the 14 to 32 size range. I can't remember what I've cut out, but um, once I reveal them on um, social media, like Instagram, I'll uh, be able to chat to you what I've made. Um, in the month and then show pictures but I did a wee bit of an extra you can see the details in the little sneak peek I got I saw some bias binding and there was bias binding by Specky Seamstress at Sultoon today and I thought you know what I'm gonna add this to the waistband and then I put a Pigeon Wishes um, label in blooming lovely and on the side it's got flowers. I just thought, you know what, that is a really nice label to put in. So I've done the waistband. All I need to put is the elastic going through the back. And then get the right length of elastic. And then I've got to do the trouser legs. Um, I don't know what's happened, but I feel like... There's one part of the pattern short and the pattern's really long. I don't and Lynn um had the same problem because I was like, oh this so it's not just me then. So yeah, um I'm gonna have to cut it to the shortest length. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be too short and look silly because I seem to do that. Um, I will look at the instructions and see what they say on the instruction, if there was a reason. No, I haven't read to that point yet. No, I don't read to the full instruction packet, usually. Unless it's a tester. Why, why is that different from the other one? I don't know. So, yes. So that is that. I am wearing the new Holland dress and this is a new pattern by Nina Lee Patterns. I tested this and I was paid for testing. I made the size 22 bodice and the size 28 and I went with my body measurement and I really like the fit of it and I went for the elasticated wide straps. And I'll just stand up so you can see the bodice. So you've got elasticated casing in here, here and here. So there's three 
and elastic here so it gives you this silhouette and like it gives you a little bit of ruffle here it's a really nice arrangement this fabric was from so 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 if it's still available and on the so 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 website i will link it below but it's so buttery and lovely i highly recommend it so 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 for their fabrics especially the viscose um katie usually gets these lovely buttery viscose fabrics and the quality is beautiful so yes and she usually does a fabric of the week for us like a discounted price too so very good very good so I did get like 5 metres for something different but I used about 3 metres for this so I think I've got 2 metres left and I'm considering just popping it on my D-Stash page because yeah I don't kind of make two things of the same thing in the same fabric if you know what I mean so that is that so yes I hope you enjoyed this little vlog a weekend with me and I um I'm gonna say goodbye because my brain is dead Oof. <laughs> between driving a late night not a great sleep because I don't know my body was like where am I yeah about uh, so I'm just trying to sort out my sewing room by putting other stuff back in that I took from Sultan rather than just dump it for a week and not move it. No, I'm going to be good and not be naughty. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to say good, really goodbye now. Um, happy sewing and I hope you're all well. But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on